Hi folks, I'm Josh and welcome back to Birthday's The Beginning. Today we're going to try and evolve proto-humans, ancient humans, other things that need sparkly hand motions. It's finally time to work towards civilization. Like I said before, this is my true mission, but I can't do it all by myself. As my chosen one, you'll finally have to complete your mission, and then you will return to your world. I've expanded the land to prepare for birth, let's work together and see this through. This knowledge allowed it to think and plan and ensure the survival of the species, and in turn Astropithecus evolved into Homo erectus. A uh, Homo erectus could use tools and fire and form villages and settlements. Now let's birth Homo erectus. So we have way more space now. I need to make way more C now because otherwise the temperature's going to go up. So let's get on that. Oh, you know what? I've got I've got items that can do this. River source, valley source. Let's try this. Yeah. Okay, that's good. And another one here. I've never actually used one of these. Oh, and wait. Yeah, one of these. Mountain range! Yeah! That's minus two degrees C! And then another mountain source. Right here. That's a saucy mountain. Kind of made a pyramid. That's really cool. It's almost back to normal temperature. Hey, it's back to normal temperature now. Okay, 21 degrees. That's room temperature, so we're finally... Uh, kind of normal. Kind of. I've done an awful job at, at making a cool looking mountain range, but for the moment, that's all I need to do. Now it's time to check exactly what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. Conditions for Homo erectus. 15 degrees? What? And at least 127... 2000... What? That's not even a number. 127,2000 is like a 1 million... 272,000? Or they put on an extra zero. Canis lupus familiaris. So wolves. We need to make wolves. Uh, we need to make you. I don't know. Monkey, don't stare at its butt. Bad things will happen if you do that. But you two seem to be uh, living fairly happily together. That's kind of cute. You, however, are a bit of a loner. So... Let's try and figure out how we get that Canis Lupus thing. That's a bear. That's a bear. Ah, there we go. I think that's it. So what I'm going to do, just speed the, speed the whole pr process along by giving you a magical doodad. A seed of evolution. Um, and let's see what happens. It appeared! Whoa! Tons of things just appeared. Somewhere. Wait, let's find them. Well, there's one over here, which is this one. That's the Wolfie. Canis Dyrus. Okay. A wolf that is very fast in spite of its large guild? There's starting to be a lot more mistakes the further into this game I go. I think it means build. It appeared as Andrew Saccharus and Dryopithecus were propagating. So maybe if I use another seed of evolution on you, matey, and reduce the temperature, we will end up with some awesome wolves. Uh, what else have we got? Bears! Look at the bear! Look at the... Oh, don't run away from me. With your little... Bobbly tail. <laughs> Yay! Bear butt. Great. And... Some kind of raccoon bear. Very scary. Whoa! Look at its tail though. That's cute. An enormous sloth. It emerged um, as Andrew Sarkus and Mammothus were propagating. Wait, is there a Mammothus as well? Oh, there we go! Canis Lupus! That's what I was looking for! Where are you? Somewhere over here. <laughs> All the way over here? What are you doing? Stupid pup! 
Yeah, this pup is in the wrong place. It appeared the grey wolf travels in packs across cold land. I, that's fine, but like, what are you doing over there? You're going to die if you stay there. Can I move you? No, I've got a cooldown on the mysterious glass jars. I can't use them. Wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna check. I'm kinda hoping there are secrets under here. There's one thing. What is it? Hey, it's a mysterious glass jar. Way, thank you. That's exactly what I needed. Oh, the earth looks weird from underneath. And in the opposite end, up here, will probably be some kind of ridiculously powerful heat stone. What's this? Scorch stone. Okay, now that I have like a mega powerful stone, what I'm gonna do is replace this with the scorch stone so that the dinosaurs survive. And the boxosaurus. Very important that the boxosaurus survives. If I use that there. Wow, that's way bigger. Uh, this area is now 52 degrees, and hopefully the dinosaurs will be able to survive. Okay, I think I've just, I just figured it out. So let's go save the pupper. Gimme. Save genetic information and put you in a slightly more appropriate place. Uh, here. Near the UFO. There we go. Let's do this. Go time powers! Go forward into time, there are 73,000 doggies around now. So that's a good start, but also an another thing evolved. Where? Over here. Uh, not that blue thing that wiggles. Uh, is it over- Oh! <gasps> is it another type of monkey? I didn't expect another type of monkey. That's so cool. A Sahelanthropus. You have to do the weird face contortions at the same time. Leptotyranno. What's that? Oh, that's the new thing. Is it a tiny, tiny dino? A tino? A smaller Tyrannosaurus that appeared in scorching hot savannas, its capacity for violence has not lessened, and it will even attack large creatures. Yay! Oh, new things! A boss? Like a boss. Wait, what's a boss? <gasps> We've got woolly mammoths! Yay! A mammal with a long nose and tusks. Duh! I've got woolly mammoths. Oh, I've got all the amazing mammals in my in my place now. you uh, shall I help you out? How, wait, how's... Let's increase this area for you so you can run around a bit. <laughs> and also get your face out of the wall. How's that? That better? You're cute. <laughs> It's very shy. I called it cute and it ran away. Uh, what was the other thing though? Oh, I see it! We've got coos! We have cows! Horned cows. Horny cows. A herbivorous mammal with magnificent horns, it appears. After Delta Theridum, Theridium vanished and Isu Mimus began growing in number. That's actually really cool. I never thought I'd be amazed by a cow, but I am. We made so much progress in this stream. That's great. Lots of very noisy dinosaurs over there. You be careful! I've seen Jurassic Park. I know what T-Rex does to... Yeah, that thing in the background. I know what T-Rex does to cows. Oh, a Smilodon! It's a Smilodon. Is it Smiley? Is it called Don? Where is it? In amongst this... Mess of dinosaurs. Where? Oh! Yeah! We've got cats now. Invented dogs, now invented cats. The world is balanced. Good and evil, both in the world. A saber toothed cat with prominent canine teeth. Trees are dying. A boobalus! A boobalus? There's a boobalus? Where's a boobalus? 
Oh, is it a different kind of mammoth? Yeah, it migrated to cold, dry plains in search of food. Okay. And there's another thing, apparently. Over here. Oh, it's a different kind of coo! <laughs> it's a... Boobalus! Yep! Oh, I've got something in my eye. That's horrible. Okay, let's reduce the temperature to, like... 15 degrees. Let's give that a go. Come on! Let's make... Things. Okay, 15 degrees. That's what I was after. Ooh, ooh! The Familiaris! Okay, so this is the thing that I've been missing. I've been missing a certain kind of doggy. Um, which is here! Oh, <laughs> it's cute! The domesticated dog, it lives in wide grassy plains. That's great. Species truly thrived once humans started domesticating them. Yay, okay. Now we just need to wait for semi-humans to start creating settlements and stuff. Go! Into the future. Homo erectus! So many jokes. Thank you for being born. Happy birthday, almost humans. Let's take a look at them. The next life form is ancient humans. They developed speech and written language, blah, 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 blah. I am not interested. I'm looking at seeing the big, tall, long Homo erectus. Uh, keep that in mind as you experiment. Oh, don't worry, I'm going to experiment with Homo erectus. Where are you, friendo? Right here! Hello! <laughs> uh, oh my goodness, so derpy. Uh, oh my god, there's so many noises. Is this what you had to deal with all the way back when? Your life was awful. Also, why are you white? Pretty sure the first humans were like black because they came out of Africa. I might be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure. You look good. I like your big nose. You kind of look like Asterix and Obelix. You know, that kind of character. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, then leave a comment and let me know what you want to see evolved in the next episode. But until then, mustache.